Welcome back, Burnout Teachers. Today's lesson will be about how to discuss school shootings with your students. I thought it was very important to make this video, especially in light of the most recent elementary school shooting in Texas. And it's so horrific that our young kids have to deal with this, have to be subjected to this violence in a space that is supposed to be about education, about learning, and about feeling safe. Then we begin tonight with the shootings in Uvalde, Texas. It was one week ago. We were coming on the air still unsure just how awful it was. The faces of the children lost in a growing memorial outside Robb Elementary School. And of course, gun violence is something that is all too familiar to many communities of colors and communities who live in underserved areas. So I do want to highlight that gun violence in general is something that is inflicted on certain populations at a higher rate. It could be a really difficult thing to talk about with your students about their feelings concerning these shootings and how to kind of deal with it and for them not to feel like the classroom or the school in general is a traumatic space for them to be in. And so this video is really meant to just give a few tips about how you can discuss and really contextualize talking about school shootings. I really think that the roots of why we're having these problems with school shootings and people having the right to bear arms comes back to the Second Amendment and the roots of that Second Amendment being in white supremacy and white militias being armed in order to suppress slave resistance. The person who actually wrote about this so eloquently where I got the information from is Carol Anderson in her book, The Second Race and Guns in the Fatally Unequal America. She talks about, quote, how the Second Amendment is rooted in a fear of black people to deny them their rights and keep them from tasting liberty. I recently did a workshop or a training and it was a critical whiteness and picture books workshop. And basically what we did was we discussed books that kind of interrogate the whole idea of whiteness and how to talk about white privilege and white supremacy. The books that we discussed in this critical whiteness workshop, which I thought were so valuable, I'll provide all the information in the description box as well as the people who led that workshop because the, the information that they provided was just so valuable and they have been dedicated to doing research about this and really compiling resources for teachers. So I'll put all that information in the description box. But the different um, books that we we discussed in that workshop were race cars a children's book about white privilege not my idea a book about whiteness mississippi morning and this book is anti-racist 20 lessons in our working group we also discussed kind of the setbacks to some of these books and maybe ways in which to discuss it or interrogate some of the ideas that are presented it's not like these books are like a, the tell-all be-all on how to teach white supremacy but i think that it could be a really great starting point especially in light of what's happening with school shootings just like students are traumatized this is an extremely traumatizing moment for teachers as well because now the place where we have come to commit our lives to impacting the lives of children and, and educating our youth has now become a battleground, not only in the sense that we feel like our role as a teacher is not necessarily valued in this corporate capitalist system, but now the added dimension of you know being in a racist space where the school is no longer a safe place. I completely understand that a lot of teachers are no longer being involved in the teaching profession, not solely because of burnout, but also just because of fear of their own lives. This is the moment to make a decision to change legislation around gun laws. And it just seems that there's no like concerted effort in in order to really change this and how many more students have to die. I wanna dedicate this video to all the people who have been victims of gun violence and to the families who have had to deal with the trauma of losing a loved one, whether that be through school shootings, whether that be through police shootings, through hate crime, through war, through occupation, any type of way in which people are being brutalized. So when we really confront our white supremacist roots as a nation, we're really enabling and equipping our students to be able to 
you know, live better lives in this society and really hopefully dismantle a lot of these structures so that we can move forward in a positive way and so that the school can be what it's meant for, a place where kids go to grow and develop, to make friends, to learn, to have fun, to make lasting memories, to explore and grow as a child and not to be fearful that this space is a place where you can die.